What's up DaVinci Resolve community? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jake Whip and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make audio waveforms inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Now this will be using a third party plugin called Reactor. It's a super useful plugin manager and it'll allow you to make awesome audio waveform effects inside of DaVinci Resolve. So before we get started, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and also comment down below if you guys have any questions. If this video helps you, please consider supporting me on buymeacoffee.com, link below. All right, let's jump right into the video. So we're on the edit page here, and if I just go to the beginning of my comp and hit play, as you can see, we have lines that are reacting to the audio uh, that is down on our bottom track there. So anyways, how to do this, let's just go ahead and delete the fusion composition, drag a new one down, and extend this to the length of your audio waveform. So a few things to keep in mind when doing this. First off, your audio track has to be in wave format, which you guys can convert using free software like Audacity. And it also has to be under, under 10 megabytes. So if you need to, you might have to split it up into several fusion compositions in order to keep it under the 10 megabytes. Okay, so now let's jump into fusion. And once you guys download Reactor, I'll have a link in the description below to where you guys can get that. All that you need to do is drag the file right inside of Fusion. And as you can see, we have this little pop-up here. And what we'll do is go ahead and do install and launch, okay? And it's going to go through and install a bunch of stuff here. Okay, so once that's done, as you can see, we have a new pop-up here. And this is just all of the different plugins that we can have uh, coming in. And as you can see on the side here, uh, some of them, there's like a status on which ones are installed, which ones are disabled. Uh, so on and so forth, and if they require a donation in order to use them. Let's come down to the audio waveform, and as you can see, it's already checked for me, but what you'll need to do is check it and then click on install. And once that's done, all you'll have to do is close this out, and you'll also have to restart Fusion, but mine's already installed, so I do not have to do that. So just do shift space and type audio waveform. Now if we hit enter, we have this brand new tool, okay? And if we plug this into the media out, um, as you can see, it says, please load audio file. So where it says wave file, let's do browse, and now find the location of my file. Now that's in, as you can see, we already have the waveform coming in. And if we come back to the edit page and just let this load for a little bit, now we can go ahead and play this. And as you can see, that reacts to the audio very nice. And now we can come back into Fusion, okay? And we can play around with some of the settings. So we have the proxy, the uh, how, like how high quality we, we want it to be. So I'm just going to leave that at the default. We can like reload the sample, we can select certain channels that we want, but usually you just want to do both. And now we can also uh, adjust the scale of it, like how high up it'll go at its max. We do something about like that maybe. Okay, let's just come up to the beat drop and make sure that it doesn't extend past the screen. Okay, so something like that. We can also shift it, uh, that's like a time offset to it. Uh, but we don't want to play around with that. And then you can also zoom it in or out so we could see like the whole thing or we could see just like a little bit of it. So I'm just going to zoom it out just a little bit and then bring up the resolution uh, to something about like that. So 3 and 10. And now if we come back to the edit page and we can watch this uh, with the audio. And the reason we have to keep coming back to the edit page is because you still cannot hear the audio inside of Fusion. Hopefully that will come out in a future update like DaVinci Resolve 17. So let's uh, play this. And as you can see, that looks pretty cool. Let's come back over to Fusion, and uh, one of the other controls is going to be up into this uh, tab, the Layout tab, okay? And in this, we can adjust like the thickness of the lines, we can adjust the line color, um, and then the crosshair, which if we come over here, you can see the crosshair right there. Once you guys are all done with that, you guys can make like a cool background for this and do a bunch of cool effects. So let's go ahead and make one of those. So let's just get some like particles, okay? Uh, let's just do a P emitter. So once you're done with that, you can make some cool effects. So let's grab a fast noise node, bring this up, okay? And what we can do is just make this like a smoke. So add a keyframe on the center, add a keyframe on the center, and then just come to the last frame and move it up a little bit. And then just go ahead and hit play. Uh, we can hide the media out. Just watch this. We just want to get a speed that looks pretty good, okay? So something kind of like that. And then add like a little bit of seethe rate. And if we just bring this up and get it to the right amount, that'll look like a little bit of smoke. And we can also add some more detail to it. Uh, we can uh, remove or add contrast, whatever you guys want for how you're going to be making it. 
And then what we can do is grab a background and merge all of these up, just like so. And now if we view this, we have like a smoky background in the back. And we can play around with the color settings to get it exactly how we want. If you guys wanted, you can even use the audio waveform as a mask. So what we could do is come and add a background after this and delete the merge and connect the audio waveform into the background as the mask, okay? And now inside of the background, we can change the color in here or we can come through and do like a gradient, okay? So we can have this one be like transparent or something like that. I'll make it black, transparent. And then the first one being white. Now we can go ahead and just play with the controls to make it so it fades off if you want. And like I said, you can do a bunch of cool stuff. You just gotta be playing with it. Something, something like that maybe. And we could even add this on the other side as well. So I'll make this one here. This color, like a white, completely solid, then make this one black, that is transparent, closer to black, so there we go, so it kind of fades off at the end. And once you come back to the edit page, uh, you just have to wait for this red line to turn blue, and then it's ready for smooth playback right inside of your project. Alright, well anyways, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys hit the like button, also subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upload. If you guys enjoyed this, please consider supporting me on Buy Me A Coffee or my Patreon page. There's a bunch of cool perks and stuff that you guys can get on both of those. So please go check those out, link below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.